All right, so I just want to talk about uh, how we do the final tuning before flying. Um, so what, what we do, because uh, you, you need to test this hanging on the isolators because it tunes differently if you have it sitting on the table versus sitting on the isolator. So the workflow that we use is to initialize it on the table and then I pick it up and hang it from these hooks that we have on the C-stand. Um, and then you activate the gimbal. And what I do is I, you know, I, I disturb it and I see how it reacts in all the axes, see how it reacts in tilt. And then to test pan, you can, you can just take and pan the multirotor on top of it, see how it reacts. And you just want to sit there and tweak the gain settings um, and, and also work with your balance to see how good you can get everything, basically. Um, you, want to, you want it to be, to not get into a feedback oscillation, but you want the stabilization to be as active as you can, you can possibly get it. Um, so just utilizing the same sequence that we talked about with the three position switch, I'll, I'll just sit down and take some time and test each, each different axis and see how, see how good I can get it. Uh, the, the one thing that we haven't gone over is how to balance pan. How we do it is we use the same stand that we have and we'll hang the multirator from one of the booms and that will put pan axis like this. And so if you have the belt off of it when you're doing that, it'll, uh, It'll be very free and you'll be able to, to swing it around and see how it balances. I'll show how that's done in just a second, but um, I just want to show again, just this is the, so this is exactly the way we'll fly it. We've got the, config, the final configuration done. Um, and just, we're gonna go through and just check and just make sure we don't have any oscillations in any axes. Check, make sure the pan stabilization is active and nice and very smooth. So it's just a quick, quick uh, rundown on how we do the final tuning.